Hey guys, David here. Welcome to Digital Outlook, where you're going to find the best community in all of crypto. In today's video, the evidence is all around us. So guys, without further ado, why don't we get to it? So guys, if you've been in this ecosystem for any time at all, one thing that we all know for certain is practically every single day, someone comes out there and says, prove it, show me the evidence. And of course, when we do show them the evidence, what happens? Well, guys, crickets, that's what happens. They don't say a word and off they go. Well, guys, I'm going to tell you what, whether you could talk them into it and think about this, hey, if you could talk them into it, if I could talk them in it, then perhaps somebody else could just come along just as easily and certainly talk them out of it. Guys, that's not going to stop us from getting out there and showing the real evidence of what is going on in this ecosystem because there are folks out there that are truly looking for answers. And I'll tell you what, if we could at least set them on the right path so they can go out there and really, really research it for themselves. And I believe their eyes are going to be absolutely open to what comes down the pipe when they see the evidence and guys i'll tell you what what i got to show you in today's video the evidence is absolutely overwhelming now first of all let's take an a look at this article right over here ripple sees growth in whale activity and partnerships guys this is a big time deal and i'm going to show you some stuff down here and we got some other articles that are just amazing just listen to this in a recent crypto stir, XRP took center stage with a surge in whale activity. A hefty transfer of over 46 million XRP to centralized exchanges by a single whale has tongues wagging. This twist in the tail of mirrors XRP's recent price dip of 0.51% in the last 24 hours, currently hovering around the 60 and a half cents. Over the week, the token saw a modest 1.06 decrease, percentage decrease, with a 4.28% dip over the past month. At a Ripple Payment Roadshow in Melbourne, Fiona Murray, Ripple's VP of Sales in APAC, dropped a bombshell. More than 500 companies are partners in crime with Ripple using XRP for international transactions. Now, do you catch these little notations here? Partners in crime rather than on-demand liquidity partners. Guys, you can literally hear some of the bias when some of these guys write this down. The burning question, does Ripple really need the U.S.? Murray, during the event, stressed Ripple's commitment to, practic to practicality. She highlighted how Ripple's tech, especially the XRP ledger, is tuned for speedy payments. The process is as smooth as your morning coffee run, an appealing alternative to U.S. CBDC initiatives. And boy, do I like that one, because of course, every morning we have our coffee chat. I think that one's pretty cool. Recently, a 111 quarter Query supporting XRP as a simplified payment method reached the Fed signaling for a call for for sorry signaling a call for a digital enabled era. Among the 500 plus Ripple partners, major financial institutions, including silent giant Bank of America, use XRP for smooth cross-border transactions. While Murray kept names under wraps, Ripple's impactful partnerships speak volumes. Ripple has been flexing its muscle in the payment scene, teaming up with big players like MFS Africa, now Onifique, showcasing its own on-demand liquidity as Ripple payments. This isn't just a facelift. It is a user-friendly upgrade while keeping at its core features. XRP is used to settle transactions, get this, between different currencies and experts speculate this move could push XRP to new all-time highs. The future of XRP depends on critical levels breaking the 61.7 cents could push it towards the 64 cents. 
potentially climbing to 66 cents. Well, guys, come on. How many of us are buying our XRP just to see a few cent penny moves? Are you buying your XRP so that you could sell it at a buck two, a buck ten? Come on, most of us are not thinking like that. Most of us are thinking way, way down the road. But what we're talking about here, guys, is all of these various, you know, support and resistances when you're looking at the chart on the very micro short term. And this is why I say do do not base your thinking on the short-term narrow outlook. You've got to zoom out and see what is going on in the wide world. Now, just take a look at this article here, which was hinted in the first one. Over 500 organizations now work with Ripple and many of them use XRP as a bridge currency. And just listen to this down here. Ripple, the leading blockchain-based payments company, has achieved a significant milestone by surpassing 500 organizations in its client base. This expansion is accompanied by the widespread use of XRP as a bridge currency. Remember, guys, that is in fact what it was invented to be on-demand liquidity, a bridge currency, and not just between fiat currencies, but a bridge currency between central bank digital currencies, which almost every country in the world, 90% of nation states are out there already developing central bank digital currencies. And guess who they're going to, to get that solution? Well, a majority of them are out there and they're tapping Ripple's technology to literally deal with the evolution that they're they're using it guys to absolutely establish the rails for the evolution of their money it is truly phenomenal by the widespread use of XRP as a bridge currency for cross-border payments, underscoring Ripple's growth dominance in the global payments landscape. Fiona Murray, Ripple's vice president of sales for Asia Pacific region, emphasized the company's unwavering commitment to revolutionizing cross-border payments during a recent Ripple Payment Roadshow event in Melbourne, Australia. Murray highlighted Ripple's belief in the transformative power of technology, emphasizing that every technology must have a clear use case. She emphasized that for Ripple, the clear use case is payments, leading to the development of the XRP Ledger, an open source public blockchain specifically designed for high speed, low cost border transactions. Ripple's expanding client base is a a testament to the company's innovative solutions. Over 500 organizations, including prominent financial institutions, and you guessed it, guys, you got HSBC out there partnering up with Ripple. You got Bank of America already saying so. You're seeing major money service businesses like SBI remit into the billions of dollars utilizing XRP for on-demand liquidity. And we are watching a fundamental shift in the way in which the world absolutely transfers value, tokenization of securities, tokenization of assets, the ability to not only send a message like through the 1970s at antiquated system SWIFT, but to send the value right along with it in an on-demand liquidity environment. No need for trillions of dollars to be locked up in Nostro and Vostro accounts, and that is big in terms of this world and solving problems, especially when we're dealing with a major global liquidity crisis. Now, listen to this. XRP, the native cryptocurrency of the XRP ledger, plays a pivotal role in these transactions, acting as a bridge currency that facilitates seamless settlements between different currencies. Now, down here, Ripple's prowess in the payment sector is further exemplified by its recent partnership with Onafik, a leading African fintech company. This collaboration aims to facilitate cross-border crypto payments between Africa and other key markets, including Australia, the UK, and the Gulf Cooperation Council. Ripple's recent rebranding of its on-demand liquidity solution to Ripple Payments signifies a commitment to user-friendliness while retaining core functionalities. Ripple's payments 
enables users to facilitate cross-border settlements using XRP as a bridge currency between traditional currencies. Guys, you are literally witnessing, like I said, a change in the global landscape. We are not dealing with this old antiquated system any longer. The world is truly waking up to the utilization of these distributed ledger technologies and XRP, the XRP ledger and Ripple are literally at the front of the pack. And this is clear evidence of what's going to happen in the future. Look down the road and see the shift before the shift absolutely takes place. And guys, in my estimation, you literally will be positioning yourself from probably one of the greatest wealth transfers in the history of mankind. Now, I genuinely believe that. That is my personal opinion. Now, guys, I want you to show you something else right over here. Now, I'm going to give credit where credit is due. Judy absolutely loves Crypto Hulk, and she watches him all the time. And she was saying, David, listen to what Crypto Hulk had to say. And she forwarded through this, you know, texted me this article. And boy, I'll tell you what, this guy has really revealed a whole lot of stuff. And I absolutely love Crypto Hulk. If you don't follow him yet, you go give him a follow. But he was the one who absolutely tuned me in through my wife, you know, for this article. But boy, what an article it is. Ripple News, Federal Reserve examines XRP's role in CBDCs. And listen to this, guys, dated November 30th, 2023. And just check out this. In a recent strategic move, the U.S. Federal Reserve has taken center stage thanks to the rising prominence of XRP, now the third largest cryptocurrency. The buzz around XRP's role in shaping central bank digital currencies has sparked a lively debate promising to reshape the financial landscape. And this is what's going on. The latest talk of the town is that a public questionnaire with 22 inquiries has surfaced aimed at demystifying central bank digital currency adoption because, of course, there's resistance to change. Guys, what you're seeing here is the Federal Reserve literally going out in mass and what they're dealing with is change management. Now, organizations, large multinationals, big banks for sure, government entities, they all employ absolute amazing change management initiatives. You literally got executives in charge of change management in order to get the buy-in. And this is part of that process because when people feel that they have a say in how things are going to go or that they can absolutely get that feedback and they feel at least heard, even if the decision is not the decision they want to be made, but they feel that their points were absolutely heard, you get their buy-in. And what the Federal Reserve is doing is conditioning us to be prepared for a central bank digital currency. And it's coming up. But get this, guys. Ripple and XRP and the XRP ledger is also being there, literally throwing that out there. The Federal Reserve. Now, listen to this. The questionnaire explores risks, advantages, privacy concerns, and other critical aspects linked to central bank digital currencies. In this maze of discussions, XRP, Ripple, and the XRP ledger emerge as key players with respondents sharing diverse perspectives on risks, benefits, and operational details of digital currencies like XRP. Various opinions echo in the digital space. James Hughes stressed the importance of ongoing communication with the cryptocurrency industry, cautioning against illegal currencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP. There's one guy's opinion. Meanwhile, Ryan Hanna of the U.S. banking sector highlights the significance of alt-flying capabilities in CBDCs, showcasing Ripple and XRP Ledger as models offering robust offline functionality. On the flip side, some voice Voices like crypto enthusiast James Rickman argued against the necessity of a U.S. central bank digital currency for cross-border transactions, suggesting Ripple and XRP as suitable bridge solutions. Others like Luke Kigi from the U.S. construction industry proposed using XRP Ledger to create a side chain, fostering collaboration between the Federal Reserve's currency and private sector innovation. All the attention is on XRP. Interesting, throughout the 584-page document reflecting opinions from numerous American 
XRP was mentioned 111 times. Now you fact check that. That is amazing. As the Federal Reserve continues discussions on CBDC design, these repeated references and endorsement of XRP and the XRP ledger raise questions about their potential impact on the Fed's decision. Despite legal challenges with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, Ripple is making significant and financial moves the acquisition of the swift company medico now i am going to pronounce it as medico from now on because i'll tell you why i was listening to brad garlinghouse on stage and he was talking about this acquisition i've had people come out and said oh it's pronounced mitako or mataco and all this do you know what brad garlinghouse said he called it medical so i'm gonna go with brad garlinghouse is a testament to ripple's expanding influence catching the eye of financial giants like HSBC, guys, one of the top 10 banks in the world. This collaboration has garnered praise for Ripple's technology and the XRP ledger. Notably, Ripple is teaming up and get this, guys, with MasterCard for an XRP debit card, paving the way for XRP to become a practical choice for everyday spending and what is that when you see that guys what are you talking about xrp you're talking about an absolute monetary instrument because a monetary instrument as we've said in the past store of value unit of account medium of exchange and now xrp is acting like money it becomes a currency doesn't it and I'll tell you what, right now we're watching the DXY getting absolutely pummeled on the world stage while these digital assets are absolutely being brought to the forefront. And that is a major deal. Talk about evidence right there. Now, look at this right over here. XRP Ledger expands reach with Apple Pay in the ZUM wallet update. And that just came out today. The XRP Ledger, the ZUM wallet, has integrated Topper by Uphold, a new payment on-ramp protocol. This move is set to streamline purchasing cryptocurrencies using mainstream payment solutions like Apple Pay and Google Pay. Now, just listen to this. The integration of Topper by Uphold within the ZUM wallet marks a notable advancement for XRP users. This feature allows the direct purchase of cryptocurrencies using credit and debit cards leveraging Apple Pay and Google Pay's convenience. The significance of this development is twofold. It offers high approval rates than other wallets and ensures adherence to regulatory standards, particularly in regions like Canada and the United States. Guys, you cannot make this up. Things are happening in such a way the evidence is literally all around us that we are transitioning into a new system. And like I said, XRP, the XRP ledger are absolutely taking front and center stage. But of course, guys, we got to expect all the funsters. Come on, guys. I invite you. Listen, you get all these guys out there and this is what they'll say. Oh, well, it hasn't done anything. I've been holding it for five years, six years. I've heard it all. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. How about you say this? All those people that are sitting there crying, are we there yet? It's like a kid, you know, sitting in the back seat of the car. They're on their way. Maybe parents are maybe driving out of state. They're taking them to Disneyland. Going to have the time of their life. And they're sitting in the back and the whole ride and they're thinking, oh, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Come on, guys. Listen, a day is coming. We are definitely going to get there. I genuinely believe it. But for all these fudsters that are out there trying to scare you out of your position, I'll tell you what, challenge them back and say, okay, if you think it's going nowhere, short it. Short it and show me the trade that that is exactly where you, th if XRP is going down to zero, you better believe you could make a fortune shorting it. Well, then you go short it. Crickets, crickets, that's all you're going to get. Another thing, all these guys be moaning, well, I've been holding it for so long. Well, then sell it sell it. You know what, guys? They will shut up and they'll say nothing. Why? Because they don't want to miss out on the life-changing gain that you and I are going to literally live to witness and see. I genuinely believe that. But they will go out there and I'm telling you, they will just flood the comments with all that kind of nonsense. And some of it is just utter baloney. I had one in there on my comments where the guy was saying, oh, well, I've been holding this since 2015 and da-da. Oh, really? You mean to tell me 
you were getting it at 0. 0.006. You watched it go and beyond below that, in fact, guys, back from 2015. And you held on to it when it hit $3.84. That literally a $6,000 investment could have bought you a million XRP. And you watched it go to 3.48 million or yeah, 3.84 million in value. And you didn't sell. Well, then shame on you. But number two, guys, you know that people that come out and say that most of them are absolutely full of it that it's absolute poppycock because i'll tell you what in that last run xrp literally changed our lives it did and we only saw what from 17.48 cents all the way to what a dollar 90 a 1200 percent return don't kid yourself millionaires were made in that run to be sure now guys i'll tell you what like i always say you get out there you do your own research you peel back the young and i believe your eyes are going to be right wide open and you go out there and really really research it for yourself come to your own decisions but for judy and i man i'll tell you what we have got our ticket and we're ready for the rocket ship ride of our lives guys as we all know things in this space could change before you even know it. That's why it's so vitally important to get your plan in place before you even get there. And what our coaching program offers, that is where you and I can meet personally one-on-one -on -one for one hour over Zoom. And during that time, I share with you our personal journey in that last bull run and what enabled Judy and I to experience some amazing financial success. I share with you the mistakes we made so that you don't have to fall into the same pitfalls we did. We take a look at your portfolio and make sure that it's balanced towards your goals and we work together to develop your exit strategy. We can even get your assets off an exchange and onto a hardware wallet along with delivering to you some amazing techniques that are really going to help you in this space. Now the cost of that is $250 and if that's something that interests you you write me right there at coaching at the digitaloutlook.com and we'll get y'all booked in so guys this is the video i have for you today and as always i truly hope that you enjoyed it now many of you know i'm not a financial advisor and this isn't financial advice but if you found value in it if you'd hit that like and subscribe i'd appreciate it and hey don't forget to put your comments right down there in the comment section and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of our regularly released videos so, in the meantime, and in between time, stay safe, be blessed, and I'll catch you in the next one.